Hi, you guys. I'm Mrs. G, and I want to show you how I take my virtual classroom and what link I use when I post it on Google Classroom. So I go up here where it says File, and I go down where it says uh, Publish to Web, which is right here, and I click that. And then it says right here, make sure your content is visible to anyone by publishing it to the web. You can link to or embed your document. So this is what I want to do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click publish right here. And then, yes, I want to publish it. You want to check all the other settings, make sure you're okay with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, link that they're giving me right here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, or you can leave it open if you want for right now. And uh, this is my virtual classroom. This is my demo classroom. If you are ever interested in having a student demo and student teacher um, demo classroom just to practice with, you can see in the description below, I have uh, a video showing you guys how you can do that. I like having a demo one so I can um, practice like posting in here and stuff like that. So anyway, so I got uh, my teacher one right here and then I got my student one so I can see what it looks like. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and post it right here on the stream. So when it says share with your students, I'm going to go ahead and post it right there. Um, make sure you have all your periods selected that you want it for. I'm only sharing it right here for this one. And you're going to click add. And I'm going to go ahead and put where it says the link right here. And I'm going to add my link in there. And I'm going to go ahead and go OK. And there's my virtual classroom. Okay, so now it posted and I'm going to go ahead and also I should make sure that we write something. So I wrote a little something uh, telling the students, you know, this agenda, Zoom meeting, all that good stuff. So now I'm going to go ahead and click post. And then we're going to check it out. That's something I think is really big is checking out to see what it looks like. And uh, real quick, if you don't notice, my stream doesn't have a lot of things on there. I made it where you can't see all of the extra stuff that sometimes will post, like assignments and things like that. So if you want to learn how to declutter your stream is what I like to call it. So you're taking off the stuff you don't need, except you're just really leaving announcements. Then go ahead and check also in the link description below and look for uh, the video that says declutter your stream. I think that's really important for organization on your Google Classroom. All right, so I'm gonna go over here. And well, now it's done, let's see what it looks like from the student's view. So we'll click over here, and now I gotta update this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click show. And so now you can see from the student's point of view, we have our virtual classroom, and we can go ahead and click on it. Let's see how it looks. And what's really not nice when you publish to web is that the students, if they're clicking somewhere where it's not clickable, you can see it's not advancing to the next slide. But that's also because I uh, made it to where the next slide was skipped. So anyway, so if you want to see how to um, do that, you can look in the, again, in the video link description below. I show you how to uh, set those settings to skip the slides. Anyway, so now only things they're going to be able to click are the things that they can click. So right here, like check grades, they can watch that. It's a YouTube video Hi, student. where I show them how to check their grades, how to log in and all that good stuff. And you can see here's the agenda right here. They can click that and they can see the agenda for the week. Anyways, so that is how I share my virtual classroom. And then like if they click on the plant, bam, they go right here and they can read about the plant and they can click back and they go back here. So everything that they can click on, they can click on. And it even shows a little, uh, little hand thing to let them know. So that's how I share my virtual classroom. And uh, if you like my virtual classroom, you can get this on TPT for free. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, or especially if you like science or if you like tech related uh, videos, technology, feel free to um, to uh, follow me on uh, YouTube. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.